Warning, this is a pest control video and it will show pests being controlled with air rifles. If this is likely to offend you, then please stop watching now. For the rest of you who like these type of videos, let's get on with the action. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pontypool Pest Control. In today's video, I'm back once again on my new permission at the chicken farm. I'm going to be shooting over three different spots. The chicken pens, the rocks and the old stables. Today has been an odd one, so I'm hoping there's going to be a good few visitors. The kit that I've chosen to use tonight is the FX Impact Smooth Twist X in 177 calibre, followed by the Pad 008 LRF, and the, my pellet choice is the JSB Evies 10.34 Greens. If it's wet or windy, I never really see rats in big numbers, it's why I've chose to come tonight. Around 10pm it was still roasting. Don't let me keep you much longer. Let's get on with the action. After scanning around the chicken pens, it didn't take long before I come across this rat, so I placed the crosshairs between his eyes and gently squeezed the trigger. It's always nice to get your first kill of the session. I'm hoping there's going to be plenty more. I walked out the back of the stables to see if there was any action. I noticed these two rats out feeding, but they wasn't waiting around. This one finally makes his last mistake and the pellet hits so hard, it stops the rat dead in his tracks. Being lazy, I sat in the jeep and waited for another shot. It seems to me that the rats already know what's going on, and they don't want to settle, but you'll always find the odd one out. My trigger was already on this firing point. The split second that the rat stops, I sent him to join his mate. Back out the front of the chicken pens, I noticed this rat just sitting there, so I quickly rangefind it to allow for the correct amount of hold over. I never rush any of my shots, I like to get the best footage that I can, also kill all my pests with one shot. Now and then things happen, and we need to use a follow up shot, but I never get over excited, and I always take each and every shot the same. This rat decides to check if the coast was clear, giving me enough time to send a pellet to his brain box. The pellet hits his mark, and his lights out for this rat. I could see that this rat had gotten itself stuck in the bars, so being the kind man that I am, I helped push him free. The only thing is, he didn't seem very happy with my help. Oh well, in this life no matter what you do, you can't please everyone. I found another rat hiding in one of the drainage pipes, so I quickly rangefind the distance, and wait for the right moment. This won't be an easy shot, but unlucky for this rat, the sheriff has been doing his own work on his aim points. A true saying, practice hard, shoot easy. This rat comes in to take some peanut butter. I was ready and waiting. A very clean shot lands, and that's another rat down. So far tonight, things are going really well. It's quite warm, and there's not much wind. Another rat thinks it's safe, hiding behind the mesh and lying down low to the ground. I start to get my breathing under control and gently squeeze the trigger. These shots are very difficult and need some good trigger control as well as breathing. Another rat pops out from the same pipe. There seems to be a lot of action in this area tonight. I place the cross here on his head and I pull the trigger. After a few dramatic flips around, it's all over. Sorry everyone for interrupting the video once again, I promise not to keep you too long, just a quick update on what's to come. In my next video, I was shooting on my cousin's permission, the farmer wants all the squirrels gone, and the sheriff is the man for the job. There'll be side by side videos from the Pad 008 LRF and the ATN 4K Pro, also 177 and 228 ds If you like my content and have not yet subscribed, you can do this now while the video is still playing. Just hit the subscribe button below 
it'll only take you a few seconds. Anyway guys, that's enough said. Let's get back after them scaly tails. I spotted this one inside the crate. Even though his brother and sister are already dead, he can't resist the smell of the peanut butter. Keeping the gun as steady as I can, I work out the old over, and as soon as I'm happy I let the shot go. The pellet lands straight to the Swede. So far tonight this session's going really good, and the bodies are starting to pile up. When I was scanning the wall, and I come across this rat, I couldn't believe my eyes. He took up the full gap in the wall. After the shot lands, you can see how big this rat really is. There's no movement, bouncing or nothing. Big Bertha's going to need a bucket all for itself. I was standing there patiently scanning around. Then some stones falling caught my attention. So I started looking above the chicken pens and found this little fella hiding in the wall. I started to get my breathing under control and ready to take the shot. The pellet hits really hard. Sadly he kicks inside the wall and we don't get to see him bleed out. I soon found another one up above the chicken pens. Using the same technique I send him to meet his maker. It just goes to show that rats can be found anywhere. <laughs> so before you go to sleep tonight make sure you close your bedroom windows. We have another big fella, just relaxing on the wall. We can't have none of that in this area, so the sheriff sends him on his way. I'm sick of handing them their eviction notices. The only thing they seem to listen to is violence. Above the chicken pen seems to be an hot spot. I'm glad the stones fell and gave away their hiding place. Down goes another rat. I'd say the landowner's going to be happy with tonight's results. Out this one comes with his mouth watering to the smell of peanut butter. The only problem was the sheriff's on form tonight. I spotted this one in the drainage pipe and exploded his brain box with an heavy. You can also see the spot the pellet landed. Absolute perfection. I hope this video shows you how effective peanut butter can really be. The smell will draw rats out from all hiding places, and because you spread it, they can just run away with your feed. So most of the time they'll just sit there nibbling away, giving you plenty of time to take your shots. Another one decides to pop his head out from the pipe, so I move into position and I let him have a drop. The pipe seems to be working well. You can see the blood run out onto the floor. Whoever done this job is a 10 out of 10 from me. I was just getting ready to walk back to the jeep and I noticed this one giving me the daggers. So using the same routine, I try to keep as steady as I can. This rat seems to be sitting there very patiently. Little does he know, there's a JSB heavy with his name on it. As I was about to pack the gun away, I had the last scan by the stables where I was parked to, and I seen this one popping out of the hole in the barn. This has been an hot spot in my previous videos. I slowly take aim and get ready to blow his mind. That rat never felt a thing. I was very pleased with how things went tonight. I picked up all the rats and put them in the bucket, ready to go on the bonfire tomorrow. Tonight I didn't bring enough water with me, and because it was so hot and I didn't have a drink, I finally had to give up. But there's always next time, so not to worry. I'd like to thank all my followers and supporters. I really do appreciate every single one of you. If there's ever anything you'd like to ask, please fire away in the comments below, or you can always private message me on Instagram. I hope this video's turned out okay. I've been suffering with my anxiety again for over a week now, and I didn't want to lay you all down and I hope in my talkovers it doesn't show it. I'm glad to say I'm back on track and I'll be keeping the videos coming. All the best, keep safe, Pontypool Pest Control.